this is my beautiful, beautiful moss art piece that I built exactly one year ago on October of 2022, and it has been in the same spot for the last 12 months. If you're new to this channel, I post videos about my outdoor garden and some of the things regarding seed starting that I do inside. But I don't normally post anything indoors or any home decor, except for this little corner where I have most of my house plants or what's left of them, if you watch one of my latest videos. And last year in October, when I posted this video about how I made this piece by myself, I receive a lot of questions from you guys. And still to this day, I find myself answering the same questions over and over. So I am going to try to answer most of the questions that I get from that video in the comments while I also give you an update of how the piece is doing. Let's start from the beginning. As I mentioned, October 2022 is when I decided to gather a few supplies from my local hardware stores, Hobby Lobby and Amazon, and I made this piece at home. It took me a good four to six hours to put this together, I am not gonna lie, but mainly because I took breaks and I ran out of some supplies that I'm going to show you here in a minute. If you are thinking about creating one of these moss pieces for your own place, be prepared to get messy because dealing with preserved masks can get really, really messy really, really quickly. Let me start talking about the frame. I get many questions about the type of frame, where did I purchase it, do I have a link, is this a picture frame, who built it? And if you are wondering about the build of this moss piece step by step, I am going to add the link in the video's description so you can watch that for yourself. But if you are like me and sometimes you miss information while watching a video, then you can just refer to this one. My husband helped me building this frame. We used a collection of things from Home Depot. I went and I gathered the supplies that were needed and we put the frame together. The frame is quite big, so finding a picture frame or something that was already made was really hard for me. As I mentioned on that video, I know that a lot of people use empty picture frames or they have some sort of frame that they found at their local thrift store, which by the way, is a great way to find picture frames, but I couldn't find one in this size. The mass piece that I have here is two feet wide by four feet long, and it is the perfect size for this little corner. The frame is made by a two by four particle board and a one by two prime board. Obviously the sizes that you are going to need are going to depend on what size you're going to build your main picture frame. But I went to my local Home Depot and I got the things that I needed. After my husband built the frame, I painted the outside of the frame with a metallic paint from Hobby Lobby. The color is called Rich Espresso, which I am sure if you visit any of your craft any of your local craft stores, then you can find this in any paint that you like. I decided to go with a shiny metallic type of paint because I really wanted to pop from the wall and against the mask color. And I am really, really glad that I decided to go with this color. Obviously, one of the questions that I get the most is where did you get the mask? Is it local? Do you buy it from a website? Do you buy it from a specific company? Most of the moss that I use for making this piece came from Amazon. And I am going to add links below. I don't know if some of those links are still good because this was last year, but I am going to add them here. The moss that I purchased from Amazon was just so, so neat. And I do not believe that I can find that here locally at any of the craft stores, which is normally Michael's or Hobby Lobby but I did go to Hobby Lobby. Actually, I waited until they had a few sales for moss, and that's when I purchased some of the moss from the ones that come in the bag. Some of them were sheet moss, some of them were just loose moss, and that's why this is a very, very messy project, so be prepared. Another question is, how much did it cost? The total for this whole project after supplies, moss, frame, paint, hot glue was about $173. 
obviously i waited like i said for things to go on sale the biggest expense was the mask that i purchased from amazon because i waited for a few weeks before i actually purchased it but i didn't see it going on sale and like i said the mask that i got from amazon was just so so pretty it is called pillow mask which is just the shape and how it is harvested in preserve now before making this piece that i have here i didn't know and i wasn't really familiar with preserve moss and i and i think that's why i get a lot of questions about the moss that i use because a lot of people think that this is live living moss it is preserved moss which means it was living at some point but now it is not if you think of it it is almost like using dry flowers so when people ask me about how often do you water this how do you water this and all of the things regarding watering my answer is i do not water this piece the mass that i have here has been preserved meaning that it has been dried and treated to keep that color and the texture for just decorative purposes you probably have seen some sort of type of moss in home decor which is which is one of the main reasons why people preserve moss to keep it in some sort of decoration that it doesn't require water now i use a lot of different types of moss for this exact piece i use pillow moss sheet moss reindeer moss spanish moss there are a lot of different types of moss that you can buy depending on what you're looking for on what final piece you want to make for your own home now why not using fresh living moss and really the biggest reason why i chose not to do that was for the maintenance bar not having to water something not having to give it a little bit of light is definitely something that works for me because you know my history with house plants another question that you guys had was do you spray this do you seal it and I gotta be honest here, I, I am not really familiar with spraying or sealing pieces to keep indoors. So I chose not to do that. I am sure that you can find some sort of spray to keep it from fading, to keep it from making it easier to dust later, to keep it clean, but I chose not to do that for my piece. The biggest maintenance that I have for this piece where it's at is really keeping it dust free, which normally I come here once in a while with a, with a small piece of cloth, something that is not going to be too heavy, something that I can use easily go here and there. But the fact that I use a fan in this room, which is the room where I keep my seedlings whenever I am working with seeds indoors, I have to have a fan and I have to have air circulating and that brings a lot of dust all around this piece, which if I'm being honest, it's really, really great for collecting dust. And I just have to keep on that here and there and it is really, really lovely. Does it need light? It does not. Depending where you keep it, the moss that you use, the preserved moss that you use, will already be treated to keep that color. So it doesn't really need light, just like it doesn't need water. But you do have to be careful as far as where you position your piece so that direct sunlight doesn't really shade or fade the color of the moss. The corner where I have this piece is the southeast corner of my room. And while it does get a lot of daylight, it does not really get any direct sunlight, which is the perfect spot for this piece so it doesn't fade. This piece is still one year later beautiful. And in my opinion, it looks really, really well for being where it is, where I have absolutely no maintenance other than dusting it here and there. And if you're not familiar with moss art, it can get really expensive if you get something already pre-made. Just for fun, I went on Etsy and I searched for some of these pieces on 
sizes closest to what I have in smaller sizes, not quite a two by four, but smaller sizes can range from 900 to $1,500, depending on the design of the moss piece. And for spending a few hours getting really messy and spending $175 on everything included, I think that this piece was definitely, definitely worth it for me to make. And again, this is my first time making something like this. I use a lot of hot glue, which I only purchased one bag at the beginning of this project. And I quickly realized I was going to need a couple more bags. Thankfully, Hobby Lobby is just around the corner from me, so I can just go in, make a quick trip and get what I need. But overall, I am very, very happy with this piece. Now, if I had to do it all over again, will I do something different? And the answer is simply no. I love this piece just as it is. I love the color that I chose for the frame. After I put this together last October, the color that I painted that wall is also called Espresso by Sherbin Williams. And I love how the frame, the shiny golden frame goes against that dark color because it really makes the whole piece pop. I love that you can play with the placement of the moss. Not one piece will be the exact same as the other. If I try to recreate this piece, it will definitely turn out completely, completely different because I will probably be using different type of moss. So if you're thinking about creating one of these pieces for yourself, I hope that this video was helpful. Again, if you haven't watched the first video where I put everything together, I highly encourage you to watch that one first so you can get an idea of how everything was made. Thank you for being here, you guys, and until the next time.